Today's video is sponsored by Patrick's Beans. More on them later. Good morning and welcome back to a blistery cold day here in southwestern Ontario. We're on a rescue mission. So we're on our way to Wheatley. Austin's car is froze up. It's been uh, anywhere from minus 6 to minus 2. Right now it says minus 2. I think it's a little colder now, but the wind is blowing. So the chill factor is probably a minus 12. Uh, his car is froze up. So I've got the heat gun in the back, extension cord. Uh, some de-icer, I'm not sure whether it's the injectors are froze, the gas lines froze, or the radiators froze, but we're about to find out. And before we get too far along, I hope all the people in the uh, New York area is doing well. Buffalo, New York. Uh, that lake effect snow is deep. Uh, I've seen six feet in places. Uh, you see a lot of guys have a, some of the storm chasers got some live streams going. And uh, it is a mess. So uh, you all be safe out there. And uh, we're just about here. So we're going to see if we can get this car going. Well, that was kind of... Uh, anticlimactic uh, it was just a dead battery we thought the car was froze so it was, i thought there's gonna be a little more to it than just hooking up the booster cables but at least i'm not laying in the cold driveway trying to thaw out a car anyway we're gonna be heading back home we got some other things we got to get done today anyways this just kind of popped up well guys that rescue was not so much of a rescue it was simply a dead battery but we thought the car was froze that would have presented a whole host of other problems. Anyway, we are back in the shop here. I got a call on the lathe that I started yesterday. I got to get it finished. Um, it's for a client that's looking for his call. We're going to get that done. All right, guys, as I mentioned earlier, this video was sponsored by Patrick's Beans. Probably four or five months ago, I was at a market in London, Ontario, and I came across a booth selling Patrick's Beans. I bought a bag, took it home. And if you've been around my channel any length of time, you know the coffee is a big part of our channel here. I tried it. I did a review on it. It was good. Some months later, Patrick's Beans found that video and said, Hey, we'd like to send you some more coffees for you to try. So they sent me a bag of their Super and Dark. And their Never Sleep. Now, both these bags are half empty. Because I've been going through it like it's water. Excellent coffee. Excellent coffee. I'm going to leave a link to all their socials down below. If you want to try some good coffee, give them a shout. Get a hold of them online and purchase yourself a bag. I'm not being paid to say it. They did send me two free bags, so I need to be honest about that. It is good coffee. Coffee is important to us. I mean, it's as important as air. And air is pretty up there for importance. I think coffee is just above that. We duck hunt. We deer hunt. Anytime we're in the blind, we got coffee, and we try all kinds of different coffees. And usually I'm the one that brings the different coffees, because I have a whole slew of coffee in the house. Right now, we're back in the shop, because I got a call in the lathe over there. That a client's looking for his call, I got to get it done. Now, let's have a quick look. This here is black walnut, and it's got some really nice character to it. But we got to finish getting the shape on it. And once the shape's done... We put the finish on it. It should just make that character pop. Anyway, I'm going to get you guys mounted over here and let's get to work. Trying to get a small ball here. And sorry about the shadows, guys. I really got to work on the lighting in here. It's just a matter of finding time.
pretty much got the ball where I want it to be, but I'm just going to have to smooth it out a little bit more. Now we're going to work on the mouth. The mouthpiece you want to be smooth. You don't want any sharp edges on there. It's not very comfortable. On this edge right up here up near the mouthpiece I want to make that a little more of a slope. We got a rounded edge here, a nice slope in the neck. The ball is nice and round, but this has got two flat edges on it. I'm gonna just knock that down just a little bit. Not, not a lot, we're just taking the edge off it. When you put the tool on it, all we're gonna do is put the tool on and you'll see me walk a lot with this. And that's all we're gonna do. Now that, what that did was that rounded that and rounded that so that we don't have any sharp edges. Hopefully this is gonna help a little bit. Sorry about the lighting again, but you see the character in the wood here? What's really nice and really gonna show up, there's a knot right here. And when this gets all sanded out and the finish put on it, it's going to look fantastic. We go up here to the mouthpiece. That's pretty good as well. So we're going to get the sandpaper out. We're going to hit it, and then we're going to see how it turns out. All right, we're going to start off with a 150 grit. I'm going to slow the speed down a little bit. I get inside the mouthpiece itself. Okay, because this one's not getting a decorative band at all, it's all got to be sanded as well. That's looking really good. Now we're going to hit it with the 240. Now we're going to hit with a 500. That's not too bad at all. I'm really interested in seeing what that mark's going to look like. All right, guys, so I got a few other calls I got to get sanded up here. Now, these have all been sanded up to 500. This lathe only rotates one way. So when you're sanding them, it's all sanded in the same direction. What I do normally do once I get a bunch of these done and down to the 500, I'll take them off, put them back on the other way, and then when I sand it, it ends up being sanded against the way, against the direction it was already going. Uh, this one here is really going to turn out nice. This is two pieces laminated together. 
This one here is going to turn out pretty good as well. But anyway, that's all I got for today's video. So I hope you all enjoyed that. We had a little bit of a rescue, which wasn't really much of a rescue. We're going to call it a rescue, though, because I need to put that one on the belt. That's another rescue. Uh, remember, last winter, we had to rescue Tyler out of the snowbank. This time, we had to rescue Austin with a dead battery. We we'll know what the next adventure is going to bring. But anyway, I got more calls to make. I don't think you want to sit there and watch me sand all these things down. That's not the most exciting thing in the world, but... Duck calls, goose calls, deer calls, turkey calls. I got lots to do and a short time to do it. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. Please hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you along. Like button, share button. And uh, we are approaching fast on 5,000 subscribers. And it's all thanks to you guys hitting that subscribe button and watching our videos. Thank you very much for joining us. And get outside and enjoy the outdoors. Although it's... Minus five right now, waiting on the snow. See you later. And again, I want to thank Patrick Speeds for sponsoring today's video. Get yourself some good coffee. Check them out and let them know that I sent you. Tell me you're here on the channel. Go down there and let them know. Thought it was gonna be a little more to it than just hooping, hooping. Oof! Hope we're not hooping. <laughs>